So the story is two years in the future. Steven has a neck. It's a really big deal. <laughs> I'll be going to these cons and I'll have to doodle Steven, right? But I don't, I can't do the neck yet because nobody knows. <laughs> Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ostrich Vox and time skip, time skip, time skip! With Steven Universe the movie, we finally have a time skip and Steven is older! He has a neck! He's now Teenven! But I think the vague information we have on the time skip brings more questions. How long has it been? Who's going to age up alongside Steven? Well, let's take a moment to speculate and break it all down. With all that said, let's dive in! The new updated structure such as Steven's home, and this place speculated to either be a gateway to the cluster, or a home for the corrupted gems, or both, indicate a passage of time longer than a few months. Some have speculated a time skip of two years or more. Some believe it really has only been a few months. And while two years would be a solid One Piece reference, as One Piece is Rebecca Sugar's favorite anime of all time, and has his own time skip of two years, there's a few factors to consider. First things first, Steven's physical growth is representative of his mental growth. He doesn't look that different from how he appeared when he forced his growth in Steven's birthday, which is when he was still 14. Going off that logic, he would be 14 here, yet that doesn't work for a few reasons. One, the episode Steven's birthday never actually states this is how Steven would look at age 14. He just wanted to look older, so he forced it to happen. For all we know, this really could be how he looks at 15, 16, 17, 18, which could contribute to why he regressed into an infant. Time skips are also usually used to not just make the characters look cooler and older, but establish things that would otherwise be a bit more challenging or time consuming to show on screen. The process of Steven's house being rebuilt. How much has the world changed? Things that, hypothetically, would be interesting to see in motion, but would kind of drag on in an 11 minute episode. I don't need Steven and Peridot to argue over paint swatches. Building a house, or extreme remodeling in this case, can take up to three to four months, sometimes even six. However, I assume we'll also see an improved homo society, which would take way more than a few months to fix. Other characters would also have to grow up with Steven, like Connie, and the two have been, very clearly, romantically intertwined throughout the series. Which means younger characters like Onion would also mature. Really, any kid characters would age the most. I mean, that's what happens throughout puberty. Just look at how fast the kids in Stranger Things have matured. Forcing that show to have an actual time skip, Sadie and the cool kids would also have some minor changes, but since they're already in their late teens, I imagine they won't age as drastic as Steven and probably Connie and Onion. Honestly, I just expect some hairstyle changes from these characters. Sadie already had one and changed her mind. Maybe some awkward facial hair from Sour Cream and Buck. And while it's been confirmed Large will age, because of his whole pink resurrection, he's going to age very slowly. As Cat Morris has said on the Steven Universe podcast, longer than he actually will want to. So, uh, as depressing as that sounds, Lars will probably look the same. The adults of Beach City would maybe get a few wrinkles, but honestly, the appearance of adults is a lot harder to distinguish as they get older, until they're full-blown senior citizens. So maybe some streaks of gray hair for a few characters, if anything. But expect most adults to remain the same. This time skip would really just serve as outfit changes for them. So if I had to ballpark, I'm going to say this time skip is between one to two years. Two years at the most? That way, if they want to make Steven 16, we can have a driver's training episode, which I think would be beyond entertaining. Maybe he'll be 15 and a half, and the series finale takes place place when he turned 16. Hey, 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 time for a sudden update. While this Crystal Clear is being edited, Cartoon Network released a short video confirming that yes, the movie takes place two years in the future. So the time skip is two years. Steven is 16 years old. Give my boy a license. All right, back to your regularly scheduled Crystal Clear. Beat City itself, however, will likely go under some changes with the uncrypted gems. How do they impact society? Do they have to pick up jobs to enjoy the things Beat City has to offer? Like, I imagine Amethyst will get everyone into fish to pizza. But oh ho ho, Kofi is not gonna hand out that many larges for free. And what better way to truly show the integration of humans and gems, how much gems appreciate and love human society, than for them to be fully integrated as members? Working the odd jobs, indulging in fun land. I don't know, give Snowflake Obsidian her own house. We all want Steve Universe to waste an episode on mortgages, right? <laughs> right? Oh no, I'm all alone in this opinion. Just drifting through the void, alone. 
And yes, a time skip would help to advance Steven and Connie's relationship. I wouldn't mind if Steven Universe the movie kind of plays out like the Naruto movie titled The Last, where that movie focused on Naruto coming to terms with his feelings for Hinata, and over the course of the film, wooing her, giving us a canon explanation of how they ended up together. Throughout this movie, Steven could finally be planning to make Connie his actual girlfriend, coming to terms with his feelings and how they aren't just awkward kids anymore. They're teenagers! They gotta own up to their thoughts and emotions and feelings. And carving out some of these 90 minutes to focus on that would be more than exceptional. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. What do you think? How long do you expect this time skip to be? Which characters are you expecting to age? Let's get some redesign predictions ready for the trailer. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet those thoughts at RoundableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at OstrichVox. We're also on Instagram. Special thanks to Janky Bones for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of their amazing art, you can find them on Tumblr at Janky Bones, Twitter at Bone Janky, Bone Janky on Instagram, and subscribe to their YouTube channel. Link in the description. Help the Rontable grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, please order a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox, signing out.